<laughs> now think about this. So I liken the task to jumping off a hundred story building. But did you know that if you jump one story, you're not gonna die? Right? No, you know, I've jumped, jumped one story, I can tell you. <laughs> I'm not even making it up. We used to jump off the house. <laughs> when I was about 10 years, 11 years, hey kids. You won't die. But listen to this. Did you know that you can jump off one story and you're not dead? You're not dead. You can jump off to the next story, you're not dead. Now it's what? How many stories? Two stories. You can jump off to the next story and you're not what? Dead. How many stories? Three, Three stories. And you can keep jumping. Will you die? Now the challenge of a hundred story building, because you are breaking it down into single stories, you are at 98. You are at 97. A while later, you are at number 50. A while later, number 20. Number 10. Number 3. Number two, number one, you have completed the hundred stories. One story at a time. Yeah. Many of us think about greatness like that. We feel I must jump hundred stories. But no, you just need one story at a time. You just need to go one story at a time. You just need to go one story at a time. You don't need to know. The 66 books of the Bible right now. No, you can just start with one book of the Bible. You don't need to know all the verses. Of, you can just memorize the first three verses of John. One story at a time. You memorize three in John. You go through the book of John. You're like, okay, this month, let me just read. One book. One story. Okay, maybe over the next two months, let me read three books. A few stories you've jumped. You keep doing it. You keep doing it. That same person who said that I have not read the entirety of the Bible, after a number of months, you look back. Heaven. Hundred stories. That is how we get to greatness. You may be there thinking that, but I, 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 I can't jump all the way to pray for three hours straight. You don't need to step there. You can just say, Father, I have not been praying. I'm just gonna pray for one hour, for one, for one minute a day. That's it, one minute a day. That's your single story. And then you do it for a week, and you have been consistent, you're like, okay, maybe let me try, try three minutes. One story, you do it for a week, and you realize, okay, I can do it. three minutes. Let me go for five minutes, one story. After two months or three months, you can go for, let me try 10 minutes. That's a story. Before you know it, your life, you are praying for 15 minutes a day. You are praying way more than a lot of people. But you've been doing it one story at a time. 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 And that takes you to the place that you need to reach. It allows you to unleash the greatness that is bestowed in you. One story at a time. Somebody say one story at a time. Somebody say one story at a time. Somebody say one story at a time. I want us to go into prayer and say, Father, we have heard your word. I want us to all stand and pray where you are as the Lord has spoken to your heart to say greatness is accessible to you. And say, Father, I step into that greatness. I step into that excellence. I step into that generosity. I step into that heart of service because that's what you have given me. It is accessible to you and it is accessible to me. Let us all pray wherever we are. Father, we give you the praise, we give you the glory. We give you adoration, we give you thanksgiving. We adore you and we honor you. There is none like you, O King of glory. There is none like you, O Father of life. There is none like you, O sweet Jehovah. You who is from everlasting to everlasting. You whose mercies are new to us every morning. You who reign supreme from eternity to eternity. You are God all by yourself. Father, we thank you for your word. And God, you are charging us so here, so God, to be those who will serve you, to be those whose hearts are dedicated to you, to be those who are moved in generosity. 
Father, I pray for all of us as young people here that God, may you move in our hearts. May you move, oh God, towards us, oh Lord. May you touch us, oh God. Open our hearts, open our minds to receive this which you have imparted to us, oh God. May your oh Lord, I pray, I pray, excellence be our portion. May we be like Daniel, oh God, who had a spirit of excellence. May we be those, oh God, who will inspire many through excellence, oh God. May we be those who will bring many to the knowledge